Hey guys, how are you doing today? Thank you for taking the time to check out the video. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. And today we're going to be having a look at a Town Hall 12 Double Drag Bat Attack. Paying particular attention to the bats and the value you can get for them if you look after them properly. Before we get started, as always, if you find the video useful, then please drop me a like or comment below. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel where you'll find plenty more content and videos on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. And if you'd like to join me in class, check out the description below. You'll find the clan tags and the requirements for joining us, as well as a link for the silent takeover Discord. Finally today, just an update on Season 8 of the CWL. We did manage to get promoted back to Masters. Um, having finished first place in the league. So well done all of the guys that took part there. We also did manage to get our 100% destruction, so a perfect war, 45 stars out of 45, um, just in case you were wondering from that video earlier in the week. And so on to today's attack, it was completed by Bates, so if you're watching bud, thank you very much for allowing me to use the replay for the video. Um, great attack and certainly a good example of what the bats can do if you look after them properly. So here's our base. So let's have a look at Bates Army Comp. So what we've got here is six loons, two drags, seven E drags, the wall wrecker with a further two dragons in there, all of the heroes, four free spells, seven bat spells and the CC rage. Now this is a three phase attack. First up from 12 o'clock, Bates is going to place his heroes, so the king and the queen, with the war wrecker. And what they're going to do is push into this top part of the base and take out this inferno. And swiftly behind his heroes, he's going to place all of his dragons. They are then going to take out this top quarter of the base, as well as the town hall. The second phase of the attack is he's going to place his loons here. Now I believe he was after the Inferno Tower, so it's going to be the loons and then a Rage spell here. However what happens is the loons take the Wiz Tower and then the Cannon and the Expo before they're all taken out by the Air Defence. The final phase of the attack is going to be the Bats. So the Dragons have taken out this and also pulled the CC, and then the loons have taken out this area here. The bats are going to be placed at 6 o'clock, and if you look at this whole section here, which is the path they end up taking, he's only going to need to use his free spells here, on the whiz tower, but then nothing all the way up to about 3 o'clock where this whiz tower is here. So he'll end up using two more of his free spells. Now this is where the bats really come into their own. So this part of the base is going to have gone. And all of the defences in this part of the base have also been taken out. However what this will leave is this third quarter here. And also his dragons are running out of steam at this point. He's lost most of them. And the ones that he does have left haven't got a huge volume of health. So the difference between the two star and the three star here is because he keeps so many of the bats alive, they're able to double all the way back round and take out all of these defences here, including the eagle. And then while the dragons push from three to six o'clock, taking out the trash buildings along here, the bats will begin the clean up from the other side and push down here and everything will end up meeting at the bottom of the base. So a bit of a mess there, but let's check out the, uh, the replay.
Now this is the point where I just want to pause it. Now as you can see here, there is an awful lot of the base left. So at the moment we're at 59% and we're on the two stars. We have this whole quarter here, as well as all of these trash buildings here, apart from the, the Tesla there. And this is really where the difference is. So if he hadn't have managed to keep his bats alive at this point, and we'll just zoom in to see how many of those that we've got left. If he hadn't have kept those alive, what would have happened here is because the eagle hadn't been taken out, that would have carried on raining down on these remaining dragons and troops and taken them out long before the free star. However, the bats have different ideas. So we're going to times two through the rest of the attack. And that's it. It's all times four through the rest. And there you have it, uh, Town Hall 12 double drag bat attack. Um, great attack there, Bates, well done. And again, I hope you can appreciate the value there that those bats got for him and they were certainly the difference between the two star and the three star. So I guess if you look after the bats, they're gonna look after you. So that's it for today, guys. Um, as always, if you found the video useful, hit that like button or drop me a comment below. And also hit the sub subscribe button so you're kept up to date when I upload further videos. Until next time, guys, keep on clashing.